Dear viewers, greetings. In this video, we are going to see about agarose gel electrophoresis. Contents. The following contents will be discussed in this present video. It includes agarose gel electrophoresis, principle of agarose gel electrophoresis, requirements of agarose gel electrophoresis, procedure of agarose gel electrophoresis, factors affecting the migration of DNA in agarose, applications of agarose gel electrophoresis, advantages of agarose gel electrophoresis and limitations of agarose gel electrophoresis. Agarose gel electrophoresis. Agarose gel electrophoresis is a widely used technique for separating DNA and RNA fragments based on their size. Agarose gel electrophoresis is one of the most common electrophoresis technique which is relatively simple to perform but possess great resolving power. Agarose gel is a polysaccharide made up of repeating arabinose like L and D galactose subunits and is extracted from the seaweed genera, gelidium species and gracilaria species. The agarose gel consists of microscopic pores that act as a molecular sieve that separates molecules based on the charge, size and shape. The most common application of agarose gel electrophoresis is to separate mixtures of DNA fragments of varied sizes, generally following restriction enzyme digestion or polymerase chain reaction. Agarose gel electrophoresis is a method of gel electrophoresis used in biochemistry, molecular biology, genetics and clinical chemistry to separate a mixed population of macromolecules such as DNA or RNA. Additionally, agarose gel electrophoresis applies to the electrophoretic separation of proteins. Principle of agarose gel electrophoresis DNA samples are pipetted into the sample wells followed by the application of an electric current which causes the negatively charged DNA to migrate towards the positive or anodal end. The rate of migration is proportional to size, smaller fragments move more quickly and wind up at the bottom of the gel. DNA is visualized by including in the gel with ethidium bromide. They are visualized by fluorescence when illuminated with ultraviolet lights. The larger DNA fragments fluoresce more intensely but the smaller DNA fragments takes off less time and therefore fluoresce less intensely. A ladder or marker is a set of DNA fragments of known size can be run simultaneously and used to estimate the sizes of the other unknown fragments. Requirements of agarose gel electrophoresis. The first requirement is an electrophoresis chamber and power supply. Next, gel casting trays. Gel casting trays are available in variety of sizes and composed of UV transparent plastic. The openings of the trays are closed with tape while the gel is being cast then removed prior to electrophoresis. The third is sample combs. They are present around which molten medium is poured to form sample wells in the gel. The next requirement is electrophoresis buffer and loading buffer. Electrophoresis buffer are usually tris acetate EDTA or tris borate EDTA and the loading buffer allows the sample to fall into the sample wells and one or two tracking dies which migrate in the gel and allow visual monitoring or how far the electrophoresis has proceeded. Next staining. DNA molecules are easily visualized under an UV lamp when when they are electrophored in the presence of ethidium bromide. Alternatively, nucleic acids can be stained after electrophoretic separation by soaking the gel in a solution of ethidium bromide. And final requirement is transluminator. It is an UV light box. It is used to visualize the stained DNA in gels. Procedure of agarose gel electrophoresis. DNA samples are prepared and applied to the wells of agarose gel along with the tracking dye. 
the wells are filled with buffer solution and the electricity or current is supplied as dna contains negatively charged phosphate groups they are attracted towards the positive electron smaller dna molecules travel faster than the larger ones the dna in the agarose gel is stained and visualized under uv transilluminator using the fluorescent dye ethidium bromide which emits orange light after attached to dna factors affecting the migration of nucleic acids in agarose different critical parameters primarily determine the rate of nucleic acid migration in agarose gels they are concentration of agarose molecular weight conformation voltage used temperature and composition of the base the first factor is concentration of agarose lower molecular weight dna and rna fragments are separated using higher concentration gels and vice versa the second factor is molecular weight the migration rate of the duplex dna fragment is inversely proportional to the log molecular weight the third factor is conformation the fastest moving dna is supercoiled dna followed by linear and relaxed open circular forms the fourth factor is voltage used at low voltage the rate of migration is precisely proportional to the applied voltage when the voltage was increased the mobility of higher molecular weight dna fragments increased differentially final and fifth factor is temperature and composition of the base the base composition and running the gel at temperature ranging from 4 to 30 degrees celsius do not affect the affect the mobilities applications of agarose gel electrophoresis agarose gel electrophoresis is a routinely used method for estimation of the size of dna molecules analysis of pcr products for example in molecular genetic diagnosis or genetic fingerprinting separation of restricted genomic dna prior to southern analysis or of rna prior to northern analysis estimating the size of dna fragments after digesting with restriction enzymes for example in restriction mapping of clone dna other applications includes a resolving circular dna with different supercoiling topology and to resolve fragments that differ due to dna synthesis next the purification of dna fragments the purification of dna fragment size separated in an agarose gel is necessary for a number of molecular techniques such as uh, cloning it is uh, it is vital to be able to purify fragments of interest from the gel finally it is very helpful in the identification of dna samples from the crime sites for forensic analysis advantages of agarose gel electrophoresis agarose gels are simple and quick to make Agarose gel electrophoresis has a high resolving power. Most applications require simply a single component agarose and no polymerization catalyst. The sample are also recoverable and the gel is simple to pour and will not denature the samples. Finally, limitations of agarose gel electrophoresis. There are two limitation The first limitation is gels can melt during the electrophoresis and the second limitation is various types of genetic materials can run in unexpected manner Dear viewers that's all about the agarose gel electrophoresis thank you for your support thank you